As mentioned, Donald Rumsfeld has served in the administrations of four different presidents. He was chief of staff to President Ford, defense secretary twice, Secretary Rumsfeld. Good morning. Now we've given your resume. <laughs> nice to have <laughs> you, sir. Well, let's start with what we were just talking about with Kristen and Richard Engel before that, that the British are reportedly furious with the U.S. for leaking information about the bombing and the terror investigation. How concerning is that if, if, if a major ally of the U.S. feels it can't share information with the U.S.? Well, that was just a report. I don't know precisely what the UK is thinking about all of this, but obviously uh, intelligence is not to be shared outside of close allies. And uh, on the other hand, the president uh, makes decisions all the time and, and has the ability to declassify information. And I think it's just a matter of sorting through what's taking place. I was ambassador to NATO about 40 years ago, and, and when you deal with those NATO countries, they do have interests, uh, and they do share a great deal of intelligence, and it is important that it be handled carefully. One of the most talked about instances of sharing intelligence, not with close allies, but with Russia, was when President Trump shared sensitive information we got from the Israelis about ISIS with Russian officials. There's another conversation he had not long ago with the president of the Philippines, where he said to him, I've got two nuclear submarines off the Korean Peninsula. As a former defense secretary, is that the kind of information you you want to be sharing with others around the world? There are times you don't want to share that kind of information and there are times you do where, where as a deterrent uh, you, you consciously let people know where your capabilities are because m most countries don't have the ability to know where our nuclear subs are or where our aircraft carriers are and, and what we do on occasion is to purposely let people know that we've deployed capabilities in certain parts of the world so that they'll be careful. You were here during the campaign and I asked you about Trump and you said he touched a nerve. And when I asked you did he have the gravitas to be commander in chief, you, you dodged it a little bit. You've now had I don't know him. Okay, but you've now had 125 <laughs> days to watch him. Do you feel he has the gravitas to be commander in chief? Well, I didn't dodge it. I am old fashioned. If I don't know somebody, I'm inclined not to pretend I do. Uh, in this case, what is a chief executive's most important task? It's to select good people. And I look at his Supreme Court nominee, his vice president, his secretary of state, his secretary of defense. I think his national security team is really first rate. I, I, as you say, I've been involved with some cabinets over the years, and, and I would rank this one pretty high. The other thing a chief executive has to do is when you make a mistake on personnel, fix it. They don't get better with time, and he did. Uh, the, the national security advisor was changed. Fast enough, in your view? Oh, I don't know. I'm not, what, I'm not there, but, but I'd, I'd give him pretty good marks on, on uh, picking people, which I think is what a senior executive has to do. Obviously, looming over this administration is the Russia investigation. All of the nation's intelligence agencies agree that Russia tried to meddle in our election. The That's issue no surprise. <laughs> We, and, we know they do. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and so now the issue is, did any Trump campaign officials collude wittingly or unwittingly with the Russians? That's the focus of the inquiry. The president calls it a witch hunt. Do you agree? Do you think it's a witch hunt or do you think it's a proper investigation? Well, clearly, we know that historically other countries have an interest and make mischief and, and attempt to do things that are in their interest. And that's, we know it, and that's understandable, and that's no surprise. It seems to me the question I can't figure out is if there's any there there, to, so to speak. I just don't know the facts. And uh, it's certainly always proper to investigate things and take a good, good look and try to understand more than you know. But whether this is, is something that will prove to be important, I just have no idea. Former Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld. It's always <laughs> nice to have you in New York. Come more often, all right? Thank you. Thank Good you, to sir. see you. Uh, thanks very much. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.